Howdy folks, this is Jethro. Just wanted to do a quick video on the 32 Ford Roadster, the final. I almost feel like I should call it the finally since it took me like a month to do this. But it's a lot of things going on and don't really have a lot of time to devote to it. But we still, we had a good time building it and uh, just wanted to do the final reveal on it. There she is. The old, uh, like I said, it was built on the, the Race of Gentlemen. They hold up in New Jersey. Um, it's a beach race, like an eighth mile drag race. Uh, looks like a, a lot of fun to, I'd like to go see that one day. But um, anyway, I built the car off of that. Um, just uh, basically just want to go over a few of the little details that I kind of did on the car. Um, basically, I just you could build it either as a full fendered or an open wheel. I like the open fenderless look a lot. Um, went ahead and uh, patinaed the paint a little bit and did some weathering on the underside. Um, went with a four cylinder. I covered that in the other videos. A little four cylinder. I built a intake and put dual carbs and a little header on there just to kind of give it a little bit of performance. The other option engine was the uh, the Hemi, so I went ahead and then figured instead of just laying that in the box, I'd go ahead and build that up. Um, I'm not anywhere near done with it yet. I just kind of partially assembled it. I'll finish that up and then I'll find a I'll find a home for the Hemi somewhere. I'm sure. We'll have fun with that later. Um, a few of the little things on this build. The only thing I noticed as far as any problems I had with it the thing is when you lower you put it the fenderless the body goes lower so the radiator doesn't fit exactly right and there's a few other little things you got to kind of modify a couple of things but it's not a big deal it still it came out came out pretty nice um, I went ahead and uh, I don't know if you can see that I'll show this in photos later in a slideshow I went ahead and connected the exhaust this one is one of them kits it's all all the exhaust and suspension all molded into the chassis so the muffler and tailpipe and all is molded in so I just went ahead and connected it to the header and made it where you just cap the header and drive it with exhaust and uncap it for the races um, the hood and side panels is all one piece I like the open sides on the on the little hot rods so I cut those off and then uh, I made a little hinge for the hood so it opened. I just took a little piece of uh, really thin brazing wire and just cut the right length. It's about the size of a car axle diameter wise and I just glued it onto the hood and drilled a hole into the firewall into the radiator. When I glued the radiator in place it just kind of pinched it in there and held it in place. Pretty simple process overall. Um, the only other thing, kind of the windshield gave me a lot of trouble. It didn't want to fit in there. And by the time I got it in there, it was so marred up with fingerprints and everything. I just took it out of there and made another little piece of plastic in there. And uh, it fits a lot better and looks a lot better. I kind of boogered up the other one pretty bad. It was not, not savable. Um, but it was a fun build. I enjoyed it. Um, the... Uh, I think that pretty much covers what I did with it. The number I put on there has got a couple of things that are significant by the F94. Um, the F was for just kind of a, I guess you call it a tribute to the uh, old racing legend Red Farmer. He always ran the F97 and um, earlier this year he was inducted in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And I I think that's a pretty cool deal for him. You know, he's still around, still from what I hear, he's still racing 80 something years old. So <laughs> I'd like to be doing that at 80 something years old, but uh, it was fun. And the 94 part was for me, that's a personal touch for me. When I ran circle track years ago, I ran the 94 on my car. It was a brief and not so shining career, but <laughs> we had we had a lot of fun with it, but I was, I was not famous by any means, but uh, just ran the bomber class and just had some fun with it. It was a cool deal. Um, that uh, that about wraps it up. I don't think there's much much else to go on with it. Like I said, I'm gonna 
put together a little slideshow for the end of it with the pictures that I took along the way. I didn't do a real good job of going along the way. There's a lot of gaps in the pictures because I get busy working on something and I don't think to stop and take pictures. So, but anyway, it's done. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's a pretty cool little thing. It looks like it'd be a blast to drive. It's one of the cars you build. You wish you'd have built the real one to drive with it. So, but, uh, that's about it. So, uh, I guess, hope y'all are doing well and, uh, hope y'all are having fun with it. So, this is Jethro, over and out.